Hello everybody! It's Monday, Memorial Day, May 25th, 2020, 3.50 p.m., 64 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius. I am at Coney Island today on the boardwalk right next to the New York Aquarium. Rode my bicycle down here. It took me a little over two and a half hours to get down here, but I did take the long way to get down here. I hope the connection holds up well. Usually when I stream on T-Mobile or I use my cell phone plan in Coney Island, there's some interference issues from time to time. But I'm hoping because there's not as many people as there were, that it'll be okay. But anyway, before I begin this walk, I want to say thank you for everybody who has given their life for this country to the United States because it is Memorial Day. We want to be respectful of those who have honored this country and gave up their lives for the country. But we also want to memorialize everyone right now who is having a hard time during this pandemic. We want to be respectful of everyone. So let's get this, uh, get this walk started. I'm going to bring my bicycle right now. There's going to be some music from time to time, so I'll try to talk over it. Hopefully YouTube doesn't give me an issue with copyright, but I may have to deal with that when I get back. We will see. Man, this music is loud. I hope I don't have any issues with it, but let's go. I'm going to try to quickly walk past it if I can. It's coming from this baby stroller, I think, which is kind of funny. Sounds of the City saying I'm in one of your favorite parts of NYC Coney Island. Wow. It is one of my favorite parts of the city too, especially when it's the summertime and Memorial Day. It's great. Look at this, we got a band here too. I think they're just tuning their instruments now. There's not too many people on this side of Coney Island. But there are more towards Stillwell Avenue and towards the amusement parks. I love the aquarium wall here. It's recently renovated too. They also have a renovated shark tank. I went in there last year and it's really amazing. They have like a section where you can walk in a tunnel and you can see sharks like above you to the sides of the left and right. It's pretty incredible. But the aquarium is not open right now due to what's going on with COVID-19. But if you do get an opportunity to come to this aquarium, it's really nice. What's the admission fee for the aquarium? Um, I think it's a little more than 20 bucks. Maybe like $25. Eileen Robs asking where did the name Coney Island come from? I think it comes from um, the shape of the island itself. I know it is an island, although not anymore because it was filled in. But there were rabbits on this island before. There was a lot of rabbits on this island. I learned this from my friend Jennifer O'Brien's YouTube channel. He did an episode on Coney Island. But I don't really know where the name exactly came from. After I show the uh, entrance to the aquarium, I'll walk over to the beach here so you can see how the beach is set up. 
PhD mom, you can ride bikes on the boardwalk. Just gotta be mindful of the other people. But here's the New York Aquarium I was mentioning before. You see this outdated fall 2019 and winter 2020. So no more. The aquarium's closed. And they're advertising the shark experience. But at least the uh, fishes and the sharks and all those aquatic life are being taken care of right now. They're not going to let those, you know, organisms die off. They can't ha let that happen. So this is how the beach is now. Coney Island Beach. No lifeguards on duty. That's a big change from last year. You can go on the beach, but it's prohibited to swim. No swimming, no wading. Beach is closed. And there's also the sign there. Keep this far apart. That's the six foot rule right there. Keep this far apart. Thank you. Fly away and come back for one euro and nine, one oh nine euro. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see there, you got the sign. Walking, running, exercising, and sitting are permitted. Please limit the length of your visit. Gatherings and organized sports are prohibited. Please practice social distancing and wear a face covering. Those are the rules on Coney Island Beach. You got the red danger flags, which means no swimming allowed. That's the lifeguard um, universal flag. They have the green flag, the yellow flag, which is caution, and the red flag, which is no swimming allowed. And you should heed those warnings because there's going to be nobody who's going to come and save you if you go swimming or entering the water. Thank you, Michael Chin, for $3. Thank you so much. I'm going to go back this way because I want to walk over here. Uh, thank you very much. Why is no swimming allowed? I mean, I heard from the news that it's because they couldn't train the lifeguards in time for this year because of what's going on. There were people who have taken chances on their own to go swimming, but they drowned and that's not a good, you know, good message to send out to people. So they say, don't swim at all. There's also the chance that you can get caught in a rip current and get sucked out to the ocean. Someone drowned, someone did drown at Rockaway Beach. That was from the rip current. I've never gotten caught in a rip current before, but I've heard they're very dangerous. Even if you're going at like knee level or lower, the rip current can suck you right out. And if you don't know how to deal with it, then that may mean like you're drowning, trying to struggle to get back onto the beach. All right, but I've heard that the way to deal with rip currents, if you're able, if you get caught up in one, is to swim um, parallel to the beach until you get out of the rip current, and then you swim towards the beach. So swim sideways. Don't fight the current. That's right. Otherwise, you're just gonna tire yourself out. Let the rip current suck you all the way out, and then swim swim parallel to the beach and then and towards the beach it's counterproductive to think of it that way let the current suck you out but that's what you got to do love this artwork here on the wall here look at this fish it's made up of like plastic bottles 
is sending out a message here about plastic pollution. You know what I mean? So I need a lemon juice. But the hot lemon juice. Huh? Here we go, the Regal Men Boardwalk. That's his official name. The pedestrian guy. Where am I right now? West 10th Street, so I'm right over here and I'm walking towards this way. And Kenneth, I am walking by Nathan's Hot Dogs. But before we go there, let's check out the Coney Island Cyclone, which is the famous roller coaster. The wooden roller coaster I rode on it once and I got scared to ride roller coasters ever again. Not a fan of roller coasters. But it is closed for this season. No, Brooklyn, New York, all the amusement parks are closed. We got the guardian angels here. They're like the uh, civilian police force of New York City. Here's the Coney Island Cyclone. Sad to see this roller coaster not open for Memorial Day weekend. If you stand by here, you can like hear all the screams of everybody riding the coaster. You sit, you stand right here and everyone's like screaming their lies out. And then some other people are enjoying it. For me, when I rode this roller coaster during that first drop over here, I felt like my body was out of my stomach and going like 10 feet in front of me. That's how bad it was. It was this drop over here. I remember closing my eyes like, when's this ride gonna end? Oh my goodness. I was like, ah, the gut drop feeling. And afterwards I had to like sit down for like half an hour to uh, get my composure back. I know there's some other roller coasters that are like crazier than this one, but it was <laughs> so scary riding it. How do you pay for the rise? The cyclone? You gotta just pay for the ticket and get on the line. That's all. They don't give you a bracelet. I heard the, um, the most dangerous wooden roller coaster well i wouldn't say the most dangerous but the scariest one is called el toro i think that's in one of the six flags amusement parks but el toro is like a crazy one no i'm not gonna do another roller coaster that i'm never doing again too much for me The Cyclone is the most roughest roller coaster. And that was the first one I ever rode. After that, I was like, nope, I'm not doing that ever again. Space Mountain is dangerous and Disney World. Wow. So Nolly's two old <laughs> roller coasters. All right, here we go. We're going to go towards Stillwell Avenue, the main area of Coney Island. I did try to um, go on the cyclone and film it. They didn't let me. They were like, no, you can't bring the camera on the ride. So I was forced to ride the cyclone with no ride, but that was an experience I remember. Now I know, no more roller coasters for me. 
You got your beachfront counter here. Here it is, Coney Island Luna Park is closed. Really sad. This was the main amusement park. You can see going here. They have all the kiddie rides in the front and then they got, you know, some smaller ones there. There's also the water, the water one over there. The swinging one. Uh, the Wonder Wheel isn't part of this park. That's a different amusement park. I just passed by it too. It and it's very sad because the um, Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. It has its 100th anniversary this year, and they're closed due to coronavirus. So it's really sad that. That happened to them. Um, I-360 with 250 Canadian. Have a request here. Can we get a... For the Cyclone. LOL. Alright. I'll say it. I am not going on that Coney Island Cyclone anymore. Forget about it. Forget about it. No more Cyclone. got coney cones, gelato, and sorbet. Fresh brew iced coffee. Open for business, coney's cones. I got $4.99 from my site, Action Kids My Hero, all over the place. Be good, my dude. Thank you, my site, for the $4.99. Alright, I'm gonna show you here. Really sad. 100 year anniversary of Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. So this Wonder Wheel Park is 100 years old and they're not open. But they are selling shirts for 10 bucks, anniversary shirts. And uh, you can see here, they're hiring pickup. <coughs> they're hiring pickup application. I'm pretty sure they want to um, they want to reopen. I'll show you the shirts that they have. These are the shirts. anniversary that's a big milestone and they're not open but there's the wonder wheel I've rode on it several times and I even made videos up there both on the stationary cars and also the swinging one the swinging one's actually not bad I can handle the swinging ferris wheel car but not roller coasters the sweet shot is open. Look at that. Candy apples, cotton candy, churros. Let's take a look at the beach over here. See how many people here are hanging out on the beach. George Lee photographer. That's a yay with HUF 1000. Thank you so much for that. 
I appreciate it. It's the first time I've heard of HUF. But no swinging cars up there. Yeah, it is an experience. It feels like you're gonna fly off the Ferris wheel. That's how crazy that swinging car is. Here you see people are um, pretty much spaced out on the beach here. They're maintaining a lot of space. Not too crowded. No one's in the water, so. Alright, I just dropped my bike. It got too heavy, so I gotta lift it up again. That's what happened when I try to do a quick turn. All right, back in business. All right, Nathan's hot dog stand right here. This is the one by the boardwalk. The main store is located on Surf Avenue and still will. Got the subway in the background. How much is a hot dog? We'll find out. If I can, let me see if I can go in here and zoom in. All right, we can see. All right, good. Original hot dog, $4.75. Cheese dog, $5.25. Bacon cheese dog, $5.49. Chili cheese dog, $5.49. French fries, regular, $3.75. Large, $4.25. I mean, I don't like to eat hot dogs all the time because I think they're unhealthy, but you know, if you eat in moderation, I guess it's fine. Don't go pigging out on hot dogs. It's probably a lot of sodium. We also got Ruby's Bar and Grill here on the side. There's also the Brooklyn Beach Shop, which is closed. I can imagine that beach supplies are not in high demand now because there's no swimming allowed. Michael Glenn's never heard of Nathan's. They're famous for the hot dog eating contest on July 4th where they pig out and eat over like 100 hot dogs in 10 minutes. 
I can't imagine eating a hundred hot dogs in 10 minutes. That's like ridiculous. I don't know how they do it. Let alone like three. I can't imagine eating three of those. The original Nathan's is down there. I think we'll go on to uh, the steeplechase pier over there, walk all the way to the end, check out the parachute jump, and walk by Nathan's as well. I was here in Coney Island two years ago during Memorial Day and it was packed. It was like back-to-back -back people. There was a lot less people than um, normally. Especially because people can't swim right now. I got 22 NOK from Emil. Thank you so much, Emil. Appreciate it. I hear a lot of seagulls. That's a sign you're at Coney Island when you hear seagulls all the time. Here's the other roller coaster, which is very famous around here. The Thunderbolt, look at this thing. It goes up, sharp drop, a loop, another turn, a corkscrew, and then another helix at the end. Pretty crazy. Bron says he can buy Nathan's at the grocery store too, yeah. You can buy frozen Nathan's hot dogs there. Just heat them up. You want me to do the Thunderbolt? No way. That looks scarier than the Cyclone. Especially because it's like three quick loops all in succession. At least the Cyclone, they're spaced out a little more. Allison Quent with $10, number one fan. I'm glad you think so. Thank you. My goodness. There's people here partying with music. I don't see much dancing though. And there's also the parachute jump, which is a landmark. I heard it was a fun ride when this attraction was available but it's a landmark now. Now it's just a built building. Mike wants me to go on the cyclone. No way. Once is good enough for me. No way. The carousel is close. I'm sad about that. No horse rides. I also got a super chat from uh, Mark W from Mark and Sharon in the UK. Great to see Coney Island and sunshine. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm glad to see this too because this is the first time that um, Coney Island is really packed for Memorial Day during this time. Before Memorial Day, it isn't really the place to go. And $9.99 from Music, Music Lover 724 Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Yes, thank you for those people who um, sacrificed their lives. <laughs> Memorial Day is the day that we remember those people who have given up their lives for this country. Hawaii is asking if Coney has bikes for rental. I haven't seen any bike rental places on the way here, so I don't think there are.
Kata was in Coney Island a year ago is amazing. Yes. All right, folks, here's the parachute jump. This lights up at nighttime in different colors. And you can see this from many different places in Queens and Manhattan and Staten Island in the distance. If you see the parachute jump, you know that Coney Island is there. No, I don't. I don't have an Allen key. Yeah, I'm sorry. A fellow biker asked me if I had an Allen key. I guess I needed to use it to adjust this bicycle. I didn't bring any bicycle parts with me. No tubes, no key. If I get a flat tire, then I just bail and head back and fix it at home. Brendan Shane says, can you dig it? Yeah, that's uh, the Warriors movie. This is their turf, the Coney Island on the beach. But in that movie, they, um, they went underneath the boardwalk. Right now, the Coney Island has changed. You can't walk under the boardwalk anymore. It's impossible. All right, let's go on Steeplechase Pier. Wow, they got mass available. So if you don't have a mass, they give them out for free on Coney Island Pier here. Uh, Forever TS2, you can't go under the boardwalk anymore. The boardwalk is pretty much level with the sand like that. Yeah, I love that movie too, The Warriors. It was a really, really great movie. Even though it was kind of like corny and cheesy, but great movie. They also had funny names for the gangs. Basically, it was a 70s movie that showed a gang's um, retreat from the Bronx and they needed to make it all the way back home to Coney Island. All right, let's go all the way to the end here. So it'll feel like we're walking on top of the ocean. Dutch bike blogger says, bring a tire repair kit two and a half hours back home. Hey, how's it going? I don't know if they knew me or not. They just say, hey, buddy. But if I ever need help, I'm still in New York City. I just bail and take the subway. I don't really like to fix stuff on the road. We got some music playing here. I'm going to mute it just past this section because I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. Mr. Here Be Bar with 10 bucks. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. And also, Allison went 5 bucks. Went on parachute when I was 12 and thought she would die. Oh, wow. Your mom is so brave. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna unmute it just for a second because I don't think you two will get me Betty Get me in trouble if I mute and unmute just for little stuff Wow oh.
All right, hopefully that goes past YouTube's uh, music detection system. I just muted it, let it play for a few seconds, and then unmuted it. But let me address these super chats over here where it's quieter when there's no music. All right. Beautiful day at the beach, although a little bit chilly. I got five pounds from Everall Barneswell. My family and I love your videos. More power to you. Thank you so much. I'm glad that your family loves my videos. It's great. I'm happy to be making them and showing Coney Island at this time. Is a refreshing ocean water. Oh, you got me on video. <laughs> Someone's like, you got me on video so bad. Erwin's saying it's like Orchard Beach. Yeah, Orchard Beach and Coney Island are the two most famous beaches in New York City. I see breezing point we'll find out when I get to the tip here should be over there somewhere breezy point look at that there's an American flag hanging at the end of this side from Memorial Day that's a nice gesture Got five bucks from Phoenix D. Thanks for showing Coney Island. I miss going there in person. I'm glad I'm showing you Coney Island now. Not everyone can make it down here, but I'm glad I'm here to show everybody. Wow. All right. I don't think I need to walk all the way to the end there at the tip. I'll go to the left side because I am going to get the same effect of walking on top of the water. Chris Barrett with $4.99. Thanks for making your videos. Action Kid, the only thing on YouTube we wait for every day. Chris, Anna, and Chris from Texas. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. I appreciate all your support, everyone. know who's enjoying Coney Island right now? These two birds. Did that pigeon just sneeze? Walk the plank. Walk the plank. Whoa! They left the present too. Disgusting, but that's the way it is. Beautiful gesture from Memorial Day here. Thank you, everybody. Let's go on to Surf Avenue now. I'll show you the original Nathan's hot dog store. 
RJ is asking if I'm going to ride home or take the train. That I'll have to see. Right now I'm thinking I'm going to take the train because it's going to get dark out and I don't want to ride through Brooklyn when it's getting really dark. Buddha Goddess One, thank you for taking us all over New York. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. And uh, C Medina 238, appreciate your walks. Thank you. You're very welcome. Everyone wants me to get a Nathan's hot dog. Maybe I could just to show you how it looks like. Or maybe I'll show someone else's hot dog because I don't feel like eating one of those right now. It's like really heavy and I don't want to like put on the weight that I lost coming down here on my bike. I'll show you the uh, Coney Island hot dog um, wall. How many hot dogs they've eaten in like 10 minutes. Amy Joe, I just passed by the hot dog stand. I think it was four, four seventy-five for a hot dog. Yeah, John tried doing the live video also interacting with people. John, I don't think you've seen this, but I rode my bicycle down here and I'm doing this live walk while pushing my bicycle too. So just think of that. I'm interacting with people while pushing my bicycle around. Hey, how's it going? Hey, happy Memorial Day to you. All right, take care. Wow, got some people here enjoying the weather. All nice. Yeah, I'm like the true multitasker. I rode my bike down here, brought all my gear, doing the live stream, pushing the bike with the camera on the gimbal. Jack Swick with 10 bucks. Thank you for taking us out here. I think this bird is thanking you too. So I'll take a selfie with him. Oh, just flew away, but thank you for that. Yeah, John, I am planning to go by there. I'm gonna pass the Nathan's hot dog place and also show you the Coney Island art walls. That would be nice. Wow, look at this. Busy here. Hey, how's it going, man? This is Coney Island, folks. Yeah, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take care. All right. Buddy. All right. Oh, dogs saying hi too. Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Huh? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm live now. Wow. All right. Bye bye. Take care. All right. Yeah, I'm Action Kid on YouTube. <laughs> Victoria's Secret is the name of the dog. Funny. I got viewers in Coney Island greeting me. I said I was going to be here, so maybe they, said they expected me. Let's see what these people are building in the sand, these children. What is that? 
just a bunch of uh, sand thrown around. I don't see any castles yet. Where am I headed to next? I am going to Surf Avenue and show you the famous Nathan's Hot Dog and hopefully the Coney Island Art Walls too if they open. Where's the end scene in the warrior shot? That I don't think they um, figured out yet because it is just a beach. And the beach can be anywhere. Maybe it's not Coney Island. It could be Rockaway. It could be LA. So it's really hard to know without any kind of like background. But the locations that were definitely in Coney Island were filmed on site. Including the famous scene where it's saying warriors come out to play. And the ones of the shots of the Wonder Wheel, that's all shot in Coney Island. Because there's no other place they can do that. Yeah, it's too bad I don't have glass bottles. To imitate the warriors, but <laughs> Natalie's asking if that's where the Brooklyn Cyclones play. Yes, over there. at MCU Park. Here B Bar wants to know if most people are wearing masks. I'm seeing a good amount of people wearing masks, but there's still some that aren't. I'd say at least like more than half are wearing masks, maybe like 65%. iPhone 11 Pro right now. I would use the LG phone but I already know from yesterday that that probably is not a good idea because it'll overheat and crash. So I'm taking a chance using my T-Mobile plan with my iPhone 11 Pro. All right I got a super chat from B Mill, $10. Can you tell us all when you started being Action Kid and why why what was your first walk and stream what neighborhood all right i'll have fun talking about this let me go over here it's a long story so basically youtube just started for me as just a fun little thing i wanted to do on my own because i was always a long distance walker in new york city i always like to explore different places so i was like you know what let me just make some videos and put them up. At first it was cycling videos because I wanted to be safe in case something happened. I have it on video. But then I started putting up those long format videos. People were watching them. And I was like, wow, people are watching these. So I was like, wow, there's some YouTubers making walking videos in like different places. So I was like, yeah, let's make some walking videos in New York. I started making walking videos in New York and kept at it and it got very famous and very popular so that's how I started becoming Action Kid and doing walking videos and exploring my city.
dark not sing on like Jackie Chan. I guess I am, but I can't do as many like crazy stunts as he does. Like Jackie Chan would be able to scale this fence no problem. I'll probably struggle with it. And he'll probably even be able to like squeeze through the tiny little holes here. I wouldn't be surprised. Even at his age, he's like very flexible. Warriors come out and play. I did an impression of that underneath the Staten Island boardwalk. Sarge Tech with five bucks. Miss my home city, Prospect Park, Brooklyn Museum, Grand Army Plaza, Carroll Gardens. Thanks, Ashley Kid. Feel like I'm there. Yes, I'm glad I can make all these former New Yorkers very happy, showing them their city and where they used to live and everything. It's one of the great things that I get from people. People who have moved away from New York and they haven't seen it in a while, and they see it again through my videos. Is the 4th of July Nathan's hot dog eating contest still on? That's a good question. I don't know. I think that, hmm, I think that it might, but they may have some like restrictions. What? What's a squirrel doing here? There's no trees around here. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Jackie Chan in action. I can't do that. Hey. All right, John, see you. Thanks for jo joining in. Bye bye. Mr. G saying, I thought he was going to jump on you. That was always a concern. These seagulls don't keep, quit yapping. Don't want to make seagulls angry. They'll drop the mother load on you if they do, if you do. You wags is saying mine, mine, mine. Yep, that's the Finding Nemo meme. The seagulls. One time I saw someone toss a rock to a seagull after feeding the seagull some bread, and the seagull just turned around and was like, ah! After the rock was thrown at the seagull and it like flew towards him and man you wouldn't want to be there The city's got the street cleaners out for Coney Island. Scylla, it is uh, sunny out today.
right, we got another food stall here. Shish kebab, pizza clams, hot heroes, hot pizza. Alright, let's see what they got for sale here and how much things are. Drop my bike again. This is harder than it looks to navigate with a bicycle. Thankfully that doesn't happen when I'm moving. Look at this folks. Hot knishes, cold beer. This looks good, whoa. Hey, wow. The fried calamari is good too. The Kanish. Whoa. Five bucks for a hot dog here. They put the tables up. So you can't sit there. You're not supposed to sit inside. Look at this, look at what they did here with this eating area. I mean, they could have done this a little bit better, I think. I got two bucks from Shiloh James. Thank you for this trip to New York. Oh, you're very welcome. I think they could have opened this up, just like spaced the tables a little bit better. They didn't have to close off this whole area. People are just gonna like hang out here anyway to, when they order the food. All right, here's the official Nathan's hot dog place, the originals. Four seventy-five for a hot dog. Mask is required for service, folks. Let's go over to the Coney Island art walls. Maybe I re can record someone's hot dog when they get it. Well, maybe I could peer in here. This is, I think we could find a hot dog in here somewhere. Nah, not happening for a while. How far is Coney Island from Manhattan? That'll be a question for a Siri. Takes around like 20 minutes by car on a normal day. All right, 
This is the famous wall of fame. The Nathan's hot dog eating contest wall. The female record is four. The male record is 75. Recent past champions, here we go. Amazing. Eating 70 plus hot dogs. What are the prizes when you eat all those hot dogs? I just, I don't know. I think, I'm pretty sure there is a cash prize. All right, let's go to the Coney Island art wall. Ross Lip Lipter with $4.99. Buy yourself a hot dog from Ross, Barry, and Merrill in Scottsdale, Arizona. Sounds very tempting to me, but I don't want one. I'm sorry. It's really, really bad for me to have a hot dog right now. Okay, Coney Island art walls. Can go in here and view all the artwork. I wonder if this is open right now. Usually you're able to go in. It's uh, almost five o'clock. Uh, what's this? Huh. Interesting. And you got the dollar bill here. Oh no, it's closed off. <laughs> so you can only see part of it. Welcome to the Coney Island Art Walls. Music, food. Uh oh. There it is. Someone dropped their ring. Summertime 2017. I know that person was really wanting to know the time. Well, I'm a little disappointed that this art wall place isn't open, but it's very um, understandable. They don't want people to crowd around and do everything. Let's go over to this side. Let's see what's going on on this side of Coney Island.
hey, the vending machines are still available. How much do these drinks cost? Hopefully they're not so overpriced. There's no prices on the machine and I don't want to touch those buttons. Payphone comes with food litter too. And it looks like Popeye's chicken. Yucky, yucky. Oh, look at this. You can walk through here. This Mexican food place is open. Wow. Oh man. I think the business over here is not getting a lot of traffic because they really depend on the traffic from the amusement parks and the amusement parks are closed. So all these eating places they're not seeing the traffic that they used to. Sad. VJ, the rides are not open. All of the rides are closed. All right, let's see. Maybe we'll go back on the boardwalk again and I'll end the stream because I needed to get I need to get back soon. Let's go here. West 12th. Where's the ocean? The ocean is in front of me. It's going to be all the way in front of me. There's the Wonder Wheel. I want to ride the Wonder Wheel again. It's so fun. Am I going to stream the seven o'clock clapping? That depends. I think if I'm taking the subway, then I may not be able to get the clapping. You know, it might be interesting. Let me, I think I can stream live on the subway for a while. If I take the F train or the Q, I'll be above ground for a while. So I'll be able to stream live on the train. It'll be interesting to do a subway live. That way I don't have to worry about putting on my lights and putting on my gear back because I already have it out. Let's go over this way. I see a ramp that's less busy. F train is not running into Manhattan due to reconstruction. Looks like I'm going to have to take the queue then. Oh, look at this. They put the tables upside down. This is not cool. Wow. They could have done like every other table, but not like all of them together. Doesn't make that much sense. Uh, we got a bunch of cops here. 
on the boardwalk. Busy on this boardwalk. All right, one last look at the beach before I go to the subway. I think I'll start another live stream once I get to the subway. I don't want to combine it. Then people who want to see the subway video can watch it later. But I'm going to end this stream here. I'll start a new one maybe in like 10, 15 minutes. So take care folks. I'll see you later if you decide to join in. If not, then you can always watch the stream later. I'm also going to be uploading my um, Coney Island ride all the way here eventually. So take care everyone. Bye-bye.